Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be changing out the NVMe SSD drive. So if you're looking to upgrade your storage capacity in your Dell gaming laptop, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how to change out the SSD drive. All right, so here I have the Dell G15 Ryzen edition. And let me go ahead and turn off the computer. So let's go ahead and shut it down. Okay, so the computer is shutting down. And I will show it to you in the back of the model number. So if you take a closer look here, you should be able to see that it says Dell G15 Ryzen. The model is P105F. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to remove the back cover. So let's go ahead and do that. First, you need to have a regular Phillips screwdriver. This is the PH1. Uh, that is the Phillips screw head that you need to have, PH1. This is PH1. And let's go ahead and start removing the screws. So the screws on the top left, top right, they both come off the back cover. And the two screws in the middle, and the board come off as well. There are four screws that do not come off, would be the one in the middle, and the one at the bottom right. Again, the one in the middle, and the one in the bottom left. When you start he hearing the clicking noise to it, that means the screw has reached its peak and it stays intact just like so. At this point, you should be able to see that the computer has separated, the back cover has been separated. What you need to do is go ahead and pop it open and just kind of pull from the back and the cover would slide off if you're looking at this direction and you pull from the back and lift it up and you can slide it down towards the body to remove it so does you see the little gap right there that is the one to slide it in once you have removed the back cover you can see the entire piece of the computer here technically this is your cpu fan i make a separate video on how to upgrade the ram go ahead and check out that video I'll try to link it somewhere in a box here at the end of the video. You can go ahead and click and check it out. In this computer here, you can see the two SSD slot, SSD1, SSD2. However, the SSD2 does not come with the bracket that hold on to the solid state drive. If you happen to know where we can get it, please help me link down, I mean, please comment down below. I'll link it so that the other viewers able to buy that bracket for for mounting additional ssd on the right side here all right i'm using the philip ph1 philip screwdriver you're going to remove the two screws once you've removed the two screws this metal piece right here with the term thermal pad this is to conduct the heat that is the thermal pad, the copper heat sink, remove that. And now you can slide, you gotta lift it up a little bit, slide that SSD to your left and remove, okay? And this is the mini version SSD. As you can see, it's really small and tiny. The size capacity is 256 gigabyte. If you're planning to increase up to one terabyte or two terabyte, um, this is how you're going to do it now in the market you want to buy a replacement nvme drive this nvme ssd uh, it comes in a full size the length okay now as you can see that the screw was removed from here but then the full size length would be all the way to the back so what you want to do is i'll show you how to remove this um, you can see that the arrow is pointing to the left but it's not supposed to push well if you install you push it to the left but to remove it you push it to your right okay so there's no screw or anything you just have to slide keep pushing 
to your right so I'm pushing it to my right until this thing get disconnected okay so this bracket here get removed so once you have removed this bracket okay and what you want to do is you want to install by sliding it to your left oh you know what I just saw the code here it says 0x BMY9 15S that might be the serial number or the code where you can find this bracket to add it on to your SSD on the second slot anyway let's talk about this again so what you want to do is you want to slide this little piece connector to your left until it locks in go ahead and install this upgrade let's just say one terabyte m.2 drive do not forget to put the screw back in so I guess we only have one screw to screw down to the heatsink okay once you have done that process you should put the cover back together by sliding in from the top first slide it in and all the screws to cover it up the important thing is that once you re replace the brand new NVMe SSD drive what happened is that the new hard drive does not has windows in it okay so this new hard drive here doesn't have the windows in it and therefore you're not able to boot into Windows 10 or Windows 11 so my recommendation is to either buy one of this which is the Windows 10 installer file you can get it off from Amazon or eBay and then you can fresh install the windows into the uh, hard drive now I, I made a separate video on how to clone meaning that you can clone from one hard drive to the other um, if you're interested to watch how to clone it I'll link it down description below uh, you can take a look on how to clone that as well so technically uh, what it does is you need to buy one of those USB adapter you plug it in and then you can clone from the original drive to the new upgraded drive therefore you would have all your windows your programs your data everything transfer over to the new hard drive all right so i hope this video is helpful if you do find the video is helpful please go ahead and smash the like button for me i really appreciate you for doing that and if you have any question comment down below i will take a look at it and answer this question thanks for watching until next time bye now